Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in Accenture. Guys, the question that I will be discussing in this video was asked in today's exam of Accenture that happened on 22nd August 2022. So make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know the type as well as the level of the questions which are getting asked in this Accenture exam. Guys, previously also I made a lot of videos on coding questions which were actually asked in the exams. So here you can see we have an, a playlist on my channel that is Accenture coding question. Here you can see that all the questions that have been asked previously have been discussed. So guys, make sure that if you have your Accenture exam in coming days. So after watching this video, you watch this playlist also. The link of this playlist I will give you in the i button as well as in the description box. So make sure to visit it and see for yourself. And guys. Please guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe it because subscribing the channel motivates me to make such videos. Okay, so kindly hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel and do share this channel among your friends. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will, we will be discussing the question. Then we'll be discussing how to approach this question. And on the later part of the video, I will tell you that how to write the code for the same. So make sure that you do not miss any part of this video and watch this video till the end. Okay, so the name of the question here is nearest integer. That is, you are given a function that is int. This is the function that you are given and you will just have to implement this function. So this is the return type that is integer is the return type of this function. Nearest integer is the name of the function. And there are two arguments that is int num and int m. Okay, let's just read the question now. The function accepts two positive numbers. First one is num and the other one is m as its argument. Okay, implement the following function to find the nearest integer to num. Okay. So we are given these two arguments. Now we have to implement this function to find the nearest integer. So now what is a nearest integer? How we have to do it? Let's just uh, read further. Okay. Now how to find the nearest integer? Okay. So the nearest integer is a number that is divisible by m. Okay. So we have uh, the nearest integer is div should be div divisible by m. So this is our m. The nearest number that we find should be div divisible by m. Okay. Next thing is number should be nearest to num. Okay, the number that we find that should be divisible by m and it should be it should be nearest to this num. So guys, if you have not understood this question, let's just understand with the help of the example. Okay, what does it is saying? It is saying that you are given two input numbers, uh, num and m. Now you have to find a third number. Okay, which should be divisible by, divisible by m and that number should be nearest to num. Okay, so I hope now the question is clear to you. Let's just uh, Quickly see the test cases, it will become things will become more clear. So now see, we have 67 in the first in input, we have 67 as our input, and m value is 8. Now we have to find a number. Now we have to find a number which should be divisible by which should be divisible by 8, plus that number should be nearest to this 67. Okay. Now we have to find the nearest number. You can say that we have to find the nearest number to this 67, which is divisible by 8. Okay, so now we have to find a number that is nearest to the 67 and it is divisible by 8. So there are only two options. Uh, there are only two options. One number is 64 and another number is 72. So these two numbers are closest to 67 and the div divisible by 8. So now since the answer only in answer only we have to return one number only. So out of these two options, out of these two options, which one is nearest to 67? Which one is nearest to 67? So how we can find it? We can find it as simply divide. Uh, Subtracting that number from 67. 67 minus uh, 67 minus uh, 64 is 3, and 72 minus 64 67 is 5. So which one is nearest? So this number is nearest since the distance is less. So our answer will be 64. So I hope now the question is clear to you. We are given a number. Now we have to find a third number that should, that is divisible by 8. That is divisible by 8, and it is nearest to the original number that is 67. Let's just see another example. Okay, next number is 26. Now 26, uh, 26 is given to you, and the number should, that should be divisible by uh, it should be 3. Now we have to find a number. Now we have to find a number that is divisible by 3, and it is nearest to 26. Now once it is a uh, and it is nearest to 26. So what are the numbers? What are the possible options which are divisible by 3 and are nearest to 26? They are 24 is divisible by. Uh, 24 is divided by 26 and 27 is divisible by 26. Okay, or 27 is divisible by 3. So these are nearest numbers. These are two options. Probability of these are two, only two options. So now let's just calculate the distance. So what is the distance of first number? That is 26 minus 24. 
equal to 2. Uh, what is the distance of second number? It is 27 minus 26 equal to 1. So which one is nearest? 27 is nearest since the distance is small. So therefore we have written 27 here. So now I hope the question is clear to you. It is a very simple question if you uh, read it carefully. Otherwise you will get confused in the exam. So make sure now to see the approach of this question and the uh, code of this particular question. Okay. Okay. So guys now let's just see the approach of this question. Now we have to, uh, we were given 67 as our input. So now we know manually that uh, the two numbers that are closest to 67 should be 64 or it should be 72. Okay. We know this by manually. But how we have to write the code for it so that all the test cases get passed. So for that, what we have to follow, we will have to follow the approach that I will be telling you. So now what we have, we have, first of all, what we'll do, we will divide these two numbers. We will divide these two numbers and we'll find out the remainder. Okay. We will divide these two numbers and find out the remainder. Okay. Let's just see what, how we will find out the remainder now. So if, oh, sorry, how we can find the remainder? We can simply find the remainder by R is equal to 67 mod 8, 67 mod 8, or you can say equivalent to num that is given to us mod m that is given to us. Now this particular function will give us the remainder of it. What is the remainder now? Remainder has come out to be 3. Remainder has come out to be 3. Okay. Now see, we have got the remainder now. Now, what was the main of the main name of the question? We have to find the number that is nearest to 67 and it should be divisible by and it should be divisible by 8. Okay. Okay, so now we have got the remainder. Now we have to find that which number is closest to it. So what we'll do, we will compare this remainder. We will compare this remainder with this M value. We will compare this remainder with the M value. How we'll compare it? We will use this particular, we will use this particular uh, equation. That is R should be less than M plus one divided by two. If this condition is true, if this condition is true, then we will give the smaller number. Then we will return the smaller number. That is smaller number. What is smaller number? It is 64. Okay. Else, this was the if condition. If this is true. If it is false. If it is false. Then what we will do? Then we will return the bigger number. Bigger number that is 72. How we will do it? Let's just see. Now let's just compare it using this particular equation. 3 less than m plus 1. That is m plus 1. Why we have taken m plus 1? Because see here m is 8. So m divided by 2 will give us even number. Oh, will give us the correct answer. But what if an odd number appears? That is 7. Let's just suppose m was 7. So 7 plus 1 equal to 8 divided by 2. Okay. So now it will give us 9 divided by 2. Okay. It will give us 9 divided by 2 because m plus 1, uh, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 divided by 2. Now 3 less than. What is 9 divided by 2? 9 divided by 2 is 4 in the coding language. You do not have to write 4.5 here. 9 divided by 2 is 4 only. Okay. Now this condition is fulfilled. Now, once this condition is fulfilled, see, this condition is fulfilled, it means we have to return the smaller number, that is 64. But how come we will reach to this 64? Because we only have 67 with us and 8 with us. How come we will reach with 64? By this condition, we just know that we will have to, just know with that we will have to return the smaller number. But how we will return the smaller number? So, we will return the smaller number by using this equation. That is, once this smaller number equation is fulfilled, we will simply return, we will simply return that, that, a, that is a num that is for 67 minus r. Smaller returning smaller number is that easy that is 67 minus r that was 3 it was equal to 64. So we have simply returned this particular uh, return this particular answer if this smaller condition was fulfilled. What if this was a false condition? Let's just see. See you have seen this particular thing. Okay. You have seen this particular thing. This was for the first input. Let's just see for the second input now. What was our second input? Uh, let me just uh, write here only. Okay. Second input was what was num? Num was equal to 26. What was m? m was equal to 3. So now what we'll do? We will first of all find the remainder of it. We will first of all find the remainder of it. What was the remainder? So let me just do this. What was the remainder? It will be 26 mod 3. That will give you 2. Now again we will compare this remainder in this particular equation. We will put the uh, remainder in this particular equation. That is r less than m plus 1 divided by 2. What is m? Uh, what is r? r is 2 less than m plus 1. m plus 1. 1 is 3 plus 1, it is 4, 4 divided by 2. So, this equation will get 2 divided by, or 2 is less than 2. Okay, so is this condition true? Is this condition true? No, it is not true, it is false. So, now we have encountered this particular condition. When it is, once it is false, we know that we will have to return the bigger number. Because see, here also two possibilities were only there. There was 64, there was 72. Here also two possibilities are only there. One is smaller number, that is 24. Another one is bigger number, that is 27. Now, since this 
this condition has returned false value that means we know that it will we will have to return the bigger number bigger number is 27 but how come we know that 27 have to be returned because we only have 26 and 3 with us how come we will get to 27 so what we'll do we'll simply do what was our given number our given number was 26 uh, see in this smaller number we were returning simply num minus of r num minus remainder but if the condition uh, of false is correct that is bigger number we have to return then what we'll do we will do num plus m that was given to us minus r okay that what was our num num was 26 what was our m m was 3 what is our r r was 2 26 plus 1 27 here so therefore we have returned this particular thing so first of all you will have to check the first of all you will have to find remainder we will, we will check that remainder with the m value if the m value gives true it means that we will have to return the smaller value how we will return the smaller value by using this formula that is num minus r uh, num minus r was used to return the smaller value but but if the condition returns false then we will have to return the bigger value so how we will find that bigger value that will be using this formula that is num sorry num plus equivalent to m minus of remainder okay this will give us 27 here and this particular condition will give us 64 here so this was the entire question and the entire approach i hope the approach is clear to you because it was a very simple approach that you can think of okay and guys one more thing you must be confused that why i have choose less than only why not less than equal to because in the question it is given see it is given if there are two numbers with least distance from num if there are two numbers and we know that uh, for all the numbers only two possibilities will be there so if those two possibilities are at the same distance at the same distance then we will have to return the larger number so if in this case if in this case you can see 2 is equivalent to 2 so therefore uh, it means that distance from uh, distance of both the numbers are same so therefore we will return the bigger number so therefore we have returned 27 here okay so i hope now <clears throat> i hope now the question and the approach is clear to you now let's just see the coding part of this particular thing okay so guys before we move ahead with code so guys again i am reminding you that i have made lot of videos previously also on accenture coding questions so if you are having your exam in coming days or you are preparing for accenture do make sure that you watch this playlist because see doing both the coding questions in accenture exam will help you in uh, getting to higher package interview okay so coding questions are very important therefore i have made this playlist make sure that you watch this video till the end oh make sure that you watch this playlist uh, all the play questions that I have been discussed in this playlist, it will really help you in the exam. Okay, so uh, the link again I have, uh, I have told you that I will give in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to check it. Okay, now let's just move towards the code that but we have to write. So, as for saving time, I have already written the code. It was a very small code, just the understanding of the question is required. Okay, so again in the extension, you just have to implement the function. You do not have to take input by yourself, they will provide you. Just you have to implement the function. <clears throat> okay. So what I have done, first of all, I have calculated, calculated the remainder, how num mod m, as I have told you in the approach, I have calculated, calculated the remainder. Now I have checked the if condition, that is, if our remainder is less than m plus 1 divided by 2, why we have taken m plus 1, because of the odd number, suppose m was 7, so 7 plus 1 divided by 2 is will be easy, okay, so therefore we have taken the m plus 1 divided by 2 for the odd numbers, okay. So if this condition is fulfilled. If this condition is fulfilled, that means we have to return the smaller number because we have only two options in the uh, to find the nearest integer. That is, uh, if we take number 67, so only two options are there. For any number, two options are only there. One is smaller number, one is the bigger number. Okay. So for 67, it is six, it was 64 or 72. Okay. So once this if condition is fulfilled, that means that we will return the smaller number. How we will reach the smaller number? We will simply what we'll do? We'll simply subtract remainder from number input number okay by this we will return the smaller number now if this if condition is not fulfilled then you will have to return the large number and how we will return the bigger number we will simply use the formula for num plus m minus of r so this will return the bigger number okay let's just see let's just run on the certain inputs let's just run on the certain inputs uh, where our num, num was 67 and our m was 8 so in this case 64 should be returned okay let's just see whether it returns 64 or not and next input we will take 67 and let's just suppose uh okay it is returning 64 okay now let's just take 69 as a uh, 68 68 as input okay 68 as input now see both the numbers have the, uh, both the numbers that both the options that it was 64 and 72 now have the same distance from the 68 so let's just see what number it will return 
okay it should return 72 ideally let's just see what are code returns so you can see it returns 72 only that is the larger number 64 and 72 had the same probability same distance so therefore in the question it was given that if two numbers are at the same distance from the input then return the larger number then return the larger number so therefore we have returned the 72 as our output okay let's just see next example that was 26 and m was 3 so in this case we should return 27 In this case, twenty-seven should be returned. So let's just see what does our code returns. So you can see here twenty-seven returns because twenty-seven has the least distance between 20, uh, with twenty-six. Okay, so guys, this will pass all the discussions that will be given to you. I hope the video was informative to you. And guys, please hit the subscribe button because in future also Accenture interviews will be there plus TCS and QT is also going on. So for those for uh, those exams also, I have video on my channel. so kindly make sure to subscribe this channel and like the video and do share this video among your friends so that in future also i can make such videos thank you for watching this video